So this video is going to be about residual plots. Now we talked about these a bit in class and we've kind of tried working with them but I thought a video might help just to explain what they are, where they come from, why we use them. So I know you've seen them. Uh, they look something like this where you have your x-axis in the middle and then your um, points are kind of falling above and below it sort of randomly. Um, there's not really much pattern, right? It just kind of looks like that. So that's what a residual plot looks like. Now where are these points coming from? Let's look. Uh, let's go to a normal scatter plot to see. So here is a scatter plot. Oh, hold on, I'm going to make it a little smaller so I can fit both graphs on. So over here we're going to put your scatter plot. And we're going to have some points. Let's put a point here and a point here, maybe one up here and one down here. Now, your line or least squared regression line, aka your best fit line, goes right through the middle. Right, we've seen that before. So, for a um, residual plot, Let's go back and draw the residual plot again. So over here, here's your residual, right? So basically, your x, x value points are the same x value points from your scatter plot. So if you have one point on your one point with an x of one, two points with an x of two, and one point with an x of three, on your residual, you're still going to have one point on the x, one point on the or two points on one point on x of one two points on x of 2 and one point on x of 3 because that's what you have here. So that stays the same. So where does the y come from? The y of your regression line is basically the value of your, or the y of your residual plot is basically the value of your regression line for each point. Now, what is a regression line? The reg regression line is basically the distance between your actual point and the point where the x value of it, so this is 2, 3, so where your x value, which is 2, falls on your best fit line, which in this case is at 2. So if the distance between your actual point and the point on the best fit line is this, sorry, bad marker, um, then it's going to be equal to 1 because the distance between 3 and 2 is 1. So, if we go over here, we can plot this on our residual point. So for this point, 2, 3, your, two stays, your x value stays the same, so it's going to be right here. And the y, or the y value for your residual graph is going to be the distance of your regression. So it's going to be at 1, because that's how long your regression line is. So let's do it for the other points. This point, because it's below the regression line, is going to have a negative, um, or because it's below the best fit line, it's going to have a negative regression line. So this right here is negative 1. So at 2, negative 1, we're going to plot that here. And then because your 1 and your 3, your x of 1 and x of 3, are on the actual line, there's no distance between your actual value and your best fit value, and so it's going to be a regression of 0. So on your residual plot, it's going to be at 0. So this is where your residual plot comes from your scatter plot. Okay? Does that make sense? That's where those numbers are coming from. So let's see how you do this on the calculator. I have a TI-82 right now because I can't find my TI-83. So the functions on my calculator are slightly different, but you should still be able to follow along. So here's the calculator. Okay, and I'm going to show you what we're doing on the um, whiteboard first. So in your list, so if we turn it on and go to stat edit, can you see that at all? Not really. Hold on, let me zoom in. Okay, so you're at stat edit, and you have, I entered the data in, um, so our data on our um, scatter plot 
was one one two three two one and three three so our table is one one two three two one and three three Right, so that's the data we've been using for this whole video, right? So, um, basically, x is the same as list 1, and y is the same as list 2, right? Okay, so, when we're looking at um, what to do with list 3 and list 4 in order to find your regression line, let's see, so list 1 is x. Like here, see, right, x. Okay, list 2 is y. This part's easy. Now, list 3. List 3 is a little complicated. What You know what it looks like, hopefully. It looks like y1 times x, but it's not y1 times x. It's y1 of x. So basically, y1 is your best fit line, and x is each of your x values. So this, your L3, is each x value plugged into the equation for your best fit line. And so for list 3, for each x value, you're getting where each point falls. So you're getting this for 1, you're going to get this for 2, and this for 2, and this for 3. Does that make sense? So that's what each one of these values is. So for list 3, we have um, 1, 2, 2, and 3. Okay? Sorry, they're just getting kind of cramped. But um, for list 4, list 4, I wish I had more space here. Let's make this a little smaller. Um, List 4 is going to, so that just says y1 of x is the same thing, just smaller. Um, list 4, you know, is list 2 minus list 3, meaning that it's y, which is list 2, minus y1 of x, which is list 3, which is also the same as saying y minus y hat, because y hat is the same as the best fit line, which is the same as y1 of x. Right? And this is the equation of your regression line, the distance between here and here, which we learned about in class. So when you plug this into your scatter plot, your x value is um, list 1, which is the x, and your y value is list 4, which is the regression line, which we had, which you saw us do before in our previous example when we plotted the residual. So I'll do it on the calculator just so you can see all the buttons going in, and then hopefully that'll make sense. So, on the calculator, so here we have list one and list two, which is the our data points. Um, here, what you want to do first, always first, you want to do your, um, so I went, I'm just, right now I'm just at my um, home page, her, whatever, home screen, um, and you want to go to um, StatCalc 2VAR, you always want to start with 2VAR so that that data is in your calculator, um, and then you want to do your line reg, which on your calculator is going to go, you're going to go stat, calc, and then you're going to go down to 8. I'm going down to 9 because I have the TI-82, but if you have TI-83, it's 8. Okay, so I just went and I did line reg, and then you want to put in list 1, comma, list 2, and you're going to do comma Y1, so that stores into your Y1. I can't do that because I have a TI-82. So you get this, so then when you go to Y equals, sorry, y equals, you should have your um, equation in there, the equation for your best fit line. So then we're going to go back to stat, and we're going to go to edit, and we're going to put in our list 3, so you go up to the list 3 place, and you say, uh, you go to vars, you hit enter to get to this yvars function, 
uh, and then you go to y1 so then you have y1 down here and then you do a parentheses um, list 1 which is your x so this is y1 of x and then that's where that um, each equation for each point on the best fit line comes from and then you go to list 4 and you want to do list 2 minus list 3 which is your regression line so that you have the value of each regression line and then you go back to stat plot uh, oh no, and then you go to stat plot, you haven't been there before um, and you want to make sure it's on, you have your uh, scatter plot on and then you choose list 1 and list 4 um, for your um, X and your Y so that you have X and you have your regression line values and then you do zoom 9 and then this should be what it looks like okay so hopefully that makes sense now one more thing before I finish the video I want to talk about why in the world we care about these residual plots basically what residual plots tell you is whether or not a linear model is appropriate for the data uh, basically whether or not your um, data is linear. So how you can tell from looking at your residual plot whether or not your data is linear. The best way to look at it is whether or not the residual plot is random. So let's say we have something like this, right? Okay. Um, right, okay, so this looks pretty random, right? There's not really any pattern to that. Yeah, there you go. So there's not really any pattern to that. It's just random. That means that it is linear. But if there is a pattern, say and your um, high and low or high and low values, it's positive. But uh, your uh, middle values are negative. That even if you have like a point here and a point here, it's still a pattern, which means that it's nonlinear. It doesn't go in a straight line. Your scatter plot doesn't. So these are your residuals, and they're telling you, they're describing whether your scatter plot is linear or nonlinear. All right, so hopefully that all makes sense, and now you understand what a residual plot is.